Greetings from Fin Study Club. My name is Ankur Kulsreesht. Welcoming all viewers to the session on Gross versus Net Reporting of Revenue, which is part of your 25th reading of Financial Reporting and Analysis. Now, before looking at this, I am sure that a basic understanding of income statement what is the top line which is the sales what is the bottom line which is the profit you know what are the different expenses that all is clear and uh, only then you know we would be able to uh, you know appreciate this uh, session in in the most effective manner so uh, you know this particular context is applicable for someone known as a broker or distributor that is to say the person for whom we are doing the accounting is actually not the principal principal as in uh, he does not own the goods and he's just passing on he's just one of the via media or should i say the distribution channel for the main supplier now in such a case there is sometimes a question as to should this distributor record his sales point to be noted this gross versus net reporting is applicable on revenue it has nothing to do with the, the bottom line which is the profit after tax so that's one of the very important points you know that, that need to be remembered that gross versus net reporting is solely based upon the top line bottom line has got nothing to do there are broadly two approaches one uh, where sales and cogss are reported separately so to speak the quantum of sales since it has not been netted off is very high the sales are very very high under this approach compared to the net reporting where the uh, you know we need to net it off and therefore on the net basis as you can assume uh, sales will be much lower we have a couple of practice examples to illustrate what we mean by this the question is now the question is when can a firm uh, use gross reporting under the us cap but before coming on to this i would want to take a practice example uh, so that we are absolutely clear what we are talking about walmart sells the sells to the consumer through its network of distributors who are entitled to a commission of 7% of the base price present the income statement of two distributors one who follows cross reporting and the other who follows the net reporting uh, assume the showroom expenses of the dealer now these are not of the walmart these are of the distributor incurred by him uh, were $5 and the base price of the goods being 120 now let us try and understand that if i will do the gross reporting let me construct a diagram here is walmart here is the dealer and here is the customer walmart sells goods to the dealer at 120 the dealer adds a commission of 7% which is 8.4 dollars and sells it to the ultimate consumer for 128.4 the question here is this dealer will report a sales of 128.4 or just his portion of 8.4 which is right here that is what is the difference between a gross and a net reporting so to answer this uh, let us do the net reporting part wherein we are saying that certain element of cogs are already netted off which is 8.4 the since it has already been netted off i will not do the deduction again expenses obviously will come as it is $5 and the profit before tax is coming out to be $3.4 let us look at what will happen in case of gross reporting wherein we are saying that there will not be any netting off which means to say uh, in the second step cogs will come separately mm, expenses will remain as it is and the final answer of profit before tax is the same so the key second key here is the profit under both gross and net reporting are same now the key question here is if you look at 
presentation A, you will see the focus on top line. It is very, very large in size and as a result of which the size of the business goes up. As a result of that, sometimes, you know, the perception about the business is that this is actually not a dealer, but a owner. Therefore, sometimes, you know, in the capital market also, there is a chance that you know this guy called a may be able to you know raise more money compared to a guy called b you know because of his size of the business or at least should i say the perceived size of the business okay in this case let us now look at when can the cross reporting be applied and under what scenario your net reporting will be useful the law is being drafted in a manner wherein we are assuming that most of the dealer would like to most of the dealer would like to follow the gross reporting because of you know perceived increase in size and all that stuff so the law has restricted a dealer to use gross reporting unless and until he satisfies all four criteria what i mean by that is unless and until you are satisfying four out of four uh, you will have to follow a net reporting but if you are able to satisfy all four criteria in effect you will behave as a quasi owner now that's again a principle of substance over form wherein we are saying that legal angle may be whatever else uh, we need to look at the substance so the gist of all four of them are we are trying to look at the substance of the relationship uh, between what we call the bar uh, the uh, walmart and the dealer so let's look at each of these conditions uh, first condition it says that the dealer has to be the primary obliger under the contract that means if something happens to the goods tomorrow then the uh, dealer can't say that you know sorry this is uh, you know not my goods this is actually walmart's goods so you know you better you know the customer uh, should better go to them uh, you know dealer can't say that the primary obliger is the one who undertakes all the service and other obligations the second dealer bears the inventory risk and credit risk which is self explanatory if something happens to the inventory you know while it is in the stock of the dealer uh, or you know if the customer doesn't pay it is hitting the bottom line of the dealer and the dealer can't take reimbursement from Bharti, uh, walmart the third and a very important condition is that the dealer should be able to choose its suppliers as in today you know a dealer is buying from walmart tomorrow it might be buying from someone somewhere else third day somewhere else so the point is who is appointing whom is it the uh, manufacturer appointing the dealer or is it the dealer appointing the manufacturer you know that's basically the uh, shift of power you know that we are trying to identify here and the fourth and very obvious point is who has decided that the goods needs to be sold to the consumer at 128 if it is fixed by the dealer then dealer has control and therefore we would assume that the fourth condition gets satisfied here so if you follow all four conditions only then you can fall into the cross reporting all four by four let's just look at another you know very small example and that's you know, really the beauty of the cfa examination that not only they they check the basic and you know very very obvious fundamentals sometimes the questions prick you on some of the very very weak spots i have taken the uh, you know the, the the parties to be same which is walmart selling goods to consumer through its distributor the base price is 10 uh, the commission is 10% of the base price uh, which is 145 this time the showroom expenses are 8 the question is not asking you about the should i say expenses or cogs or any kind of presentation it is just asking you about what is the sales being reported and what is the profit being reported i'm absolutely sure that the profit are absolutely same between the cross and net reporting so let me come to uh, profit in a while let's focus upon the sales and the sales are in case of net reporting your uh, one let me draw the diagram 
Walmart dealer consumer 145 worth of goods the dealer will add 10% which is equal to 14.5 so they will be 159.5 okay the question here is in case of net reporting 159.5 will be netted off 145 and only 14.5 will appear here whereas in case of gross reporting well I will gross up the sales of Walmart and the dealers so to speak 145 plus 14.5 is equal to the gross reporting we have a little bit of grossing up to be done 159.5 the key question here is never never add the expenses also there's a common mistake done by many people that sales in case of gross reporting they calculate it by grossing up every figure possible point is you can't add expenses uh, incurred to on this revenue uh, in the in case of gross reporting so uh, the dealers expenses are will hit the dealers bottom line uh, as uh, you know the expense or the cost it has nothing to do with the dealers uh, revenue so uh, my COGS in this case will be 145 expenses will be uh, 8 although the question doesn't ask me to calculate that and the net revenue uh, will be 6.5 here no COGS expenses are 8 and 6.5 okay so I hope that this short and suit explanation of these gross versus net reporting was useful should you have any feedback or comment or question we would be very very happy to assist you at finstudyclub at the rate gmail.com stay tuned there are a lot more videos coming on CFA level 1 and level 2 we look forward to speak to you in our next session this was Ankur Kulsresht greetings from finstudyclub